What's up with it, family? That boy can cook. Back in the place. Back in your face. It's grilling season, y'all. It's grilling season. It's grilling season. And if, if you rock with me, then you already didn't check out my last video. We did some grilled veggies with some corn on the cob ribs. It was delicious. But anyway, today we're doing something on the grill. It's grilling season. Something simple. Something for the kids. We're just going to do some grilled chicken legs that's going to be seasoned to perfection. It's going to have an awesome flavor to it. You know, that boy can cook. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. We'll be right back. For the simple ingredients, y'all. Simple ingredients. All right, family. Run down real quick. Like I say, simple ingredients. It's grilled chicken, baby. Grilled chicken legs. Kids will love them, adults will love them. It's a winner all the way around. If you like chicken, and who don't like chicken, it's a winner all the way around. All right, first of all, I got a family pack of chicken legs. And I already washed them, patted them dry. Get the um, seasonings to stick better. Um, and with the seasonings, I have one tablespoon of kosher salt. You have one tablespoon of smoked paprika. You have one teaspoon of garlic powder. You have one teaspoon of onion powder. And you have one teaspoon of black pepper. And that's gonna give you this right here. It's gonna give you that right there. All right, family, so you know what time it is. We gotta put some spice to that chicken. We gotta put some flavor to that chicken, y'all. Y'all know? All righty. Let's get it. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, it's in the process. Just sprinkle it all around. And you'll still have some seasoning left. You're not gonna use it all. Please don't use it all. It's gonna be entirely too much seasoning on your chicken. So now I'm just going to skip the fill. This boy again with our, our own season, our own season. And family, just letting y'all, you guys know. And now we're gonna just mix them up like so. Make sure they get well coated with the season. Um, and like I was gonna say, family, uh, just letting you guys know, I am working on my own very own seasonings. And I'm talking about delicious seasonings. So, stick with me, rock with me, and you will see and possibly be able to taste that seasoning, that boy's seasoning. That's what it's gonna be called. That boy seasoning, you did? Yeah, yeah. I'm good with marrying my seasons, y'all. So I was like, let me do that. Let me, let me, let me make up a season. All right. And we're gonna save the rest of this um, seasoning we just made up. We're gonna save, save it for some more chicken that we have. Since I already stuck my hand in it with the gloves, that's cross contamination, but it's not because we're using it for more chicken. So, all right, we got them well coated. Look at that, that flavor, it's that flavor, yeah. All right, family, all right, like I was saying, it's grilling season, so I'm going to get my grill together, get it hot, get it ready, and then we're gonna go outside today, as we did yesterday, with the veggie video. And we're gonna put it all on the grill, we're gonna make it happen, gonna see what it look like, we're gonna taste what it is, and we're gonna love it, y'all. We be right back. All right, family, real quick. We got our grill working. It's almost to the point we need it to be so we can put this chicken on, on the grill. But I just wanted to show y'all. Look at that. This season perfect, y'all. And the flavor is gonna be so awesome. Add the season perfect. I'm talking about kids, adults. 
Alright, we finna move outside again, and we gonna pop them up on the grill and get it to work. Y'all know this is Texas, so it's a little warm out there, but I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, so I'm going to endure the heat for you. I'm going to endure the heat. I'm from Texas, baby. I'm used to it anyway. We be back. We gonna be outside, though. That boy can cook. In your face, in the place. All right, family. We got our grill ready, as you can see. Nice, piping hot. Now, we going with the chicken, y'all. We going with the chicken. All right. So we just going to get our chicken on here. Put the fat in towards the middle of the fire. As such, we just go around in circles, like so. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to put one directly over that fire that's there. We're going to throw one there. Put one here. Should we keep them kind of spread it so they can all cook right? Uh, let's do this here. Okay. And we got two more to fit in there somewhere. We'll put it right there. I'm just going to make sure I watch it. All right. There we go, fam. Now let's cover this boy up. We're going to let him cook. Uh, maybe five minutes. We're going to come back and check it, y'all. Yeah, once again, you don't want to leave too far. You don't want to go too far. I mean, you don't want to uh, be in the house, sit down, watch TV, and all of a sudden you get a flare up and you come back and the chicken is all burnt up. You don't want that. Not with this awesome flavor that we're putting on here. You don't want that, family. All right. So let's cover it up. I'm going to go back inside. I'm going to put the rest of the chicken. I'll just have chicken wings. And I'll put the rest of the chicken back. And we'll be back. All right, family, as you can see, man, this grill is going. We got it going. Let's check our chicken and see if it's time to turn it. And of course it is. Right there. That's how we're going to know we need to turn it. All right. And let's find the bigger pieces. And we're going to move those closer to the fire. Make sure we leave a little space in between. Right, let's just get all of them fixed. There we go. All of them flipped where we have them cooking the right way, family. Oh, they looking good and smelling even better, y'all. They smelling even better. Right. There we go. Now I'm going to grab my chicken wings and I'm going to find somewhere to squeeze in my chicken wings. Just put that right there. Keep that there. Put that right there. Now that's going to throw chicken wings right there. Yeah, where it's hot at is where I'm going to put my chicken wings. So, scoot this one over. All right. A little room in between now. There we go. All right. Yeah. Now I'm going to squeeze my chicken wings in there, family. I'll be right back. Let me grab those. And I can stick them in there. I don't want to get this cooked thoroughly and then add raw chicken to it. We don't want to do that. So we just want to get the big old the, the, the drumsticks. Once we flip them, if we have chicken wings or something small on there, then we're going to add to that. We're gonna add the chicken wings after we get these turned. So, we'll be right back, family. 
in a hot minute. All right, family, got the wings. So now, let's just get these boys on here. Let's get it. There we go. Get that wing up there. There we go. All right. So let's get the little drumlets on here. Get them fitted in now. In between. And such. Let's turn that around. And up here. Put one there. Get that off of that fire right there. Like that. Let's do this with here. Come on, Wing. Back right. There we go. All right. Okay. Let's just some more. Let's just throw these on there. Get that to Oh, I didn't realize I had a drum stuff in there. All right, that's enough for right now, family. I don't want to pack it too much. So, I'm going to let those cook down, cook off. And we'll be right back. All right, family, it's time to take our chicken. I'm pretty sure we pretty much done with it. Yep, yep. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That's a big one, so I'm going to leave it on there a little bit longer. But right now, we're just going to take the smaller ones, like so. I'm going to take these off. And we're going to go grab our, the rest of our wings. And we're going to put them all on one side. And we're gonna cook them, cook them off, finish them that way. So there's no cross contamination. Right. Let me let it cook a little more. See these flies even love me. I gotta hurry up and cover it back up, y'all. These flies even love me. All right. Yeah, I'm going to let these cook a little bit longer, family. And we'll be back to pull them off. All right. In a minute, y'all. All right, family. Our chicken is ready to come off. But I ran out of coals. So I am going to, um, just for you guys, let you guys know. I'm not going to restart the grill. Um, if you so happen to run out of coals, your chicken is pretty much finished. So you can pop it in the oven for, I say, for about at 350, about 20, 15, 20 minutes. And you can finish cooking it that way. That's if you ran out of coals. Because the seasoning is already in the chicken. So that's not a worry you have to worry about is where it's going to change the flavor of my chicken from the grill. No, your flavor is already in there from the grill. So you're just finish cooking that's all you're doing is finish it finishing it in the oven let's say if you run out of coals like i said you know if you have plenty of coals i you know i would recommend that you finish it on the grill you know but me being me i always go to the store and i always forget some people I always so i have to get better at that so now, I'm just going to take these and pop them in the oven. Like I say, uh, 350, 15, 20 minutes. Let's do 20, 25 minutes to make sure they're done. Okay, and we'll be right back. All right, family. Our chicken ready, y'all. Check us out. I got my barbecue glove on so I can hold it for y'all. Let me let y'all see it. Let's get a good yeah, there we go. Mm hmm Perfectly seasoned. Tender. 
like I say, I, I ran out of coal, so I just threw it in the oven. Just to finish me off. All right, family. You know what we're about to do. We're about to make it look pretty. We're about to give it a taste test. And we're going to be done. Don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, like, leave your comment. That boy can cook, y'all. We'll be right back with the final finish plated product. Grilling season, y'all. All right, family. Got another one. Just grilled chicken legs with that awesome that boy seasoning. Yeah, that boy seasoning. Yeah. And like I say, family, rock with me, stay with me. Because I'm going to be coming out with my own seasonings, my own sauces. Check me out, y'all. Check me out. Don't get left behind now. Let's do this taste test. Look at that. Looks good. Smells even better. And tastes wonderful. Cooked all the way through. I'm talking about super tender, y'all. It's still juicy. Not dried out at all. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I wouldn't cook, y'all. That boy can cook. Some good stuff right here. Like, comment, subscribe. That boy can cook. Out of place, out of face, I'm gone.